is Margaret Wangoi Wanyere from Kenya. I have been having severe back pains for the last one and a half years. When I went to the doctor, I was sent for an MRI, and this is my medical report to prove that from Sonar Imaging Kenya. This medical report from Sonar Imaging Center in Kenya belongs to Sister Margaret Wanyere. Here, they took an MRI of her lumbosacral spine, whereby they noted several abnormalities here, and she was diagnosed with lumbar myofascial spasms together with L5-S1 disc degeneration and diffuse disc bulge, causing bilateral exiting nerve root impingement. The radiologist, Dr. Musioki Stok de Thogo, confirms this condition. Now she has got difficult in bending, sitting, standing for long, for this one and a half years. Time for the Lord Jesus Christ to intervene in her situation. As the prayer is going on for her right now, see how she's being driven from sickness to good health. This being done in the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is over. Rise up and go, your friend. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Sister Margaret is rising up with a smile. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like, oh, my God. Hands for Jesus Christ. With the prayer made in faith by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for Sister Margaret Wangui from Kenya, the Lord Jesus Christ completely healed her of the pain in her back. Listen to her wonderful testimony the following morning. My names are Margaret Wangui. I am from Kenya. Before I came to Kakande Ministries, I was sick. I was having severe back pains, which were really bad. I remember how it all started. I was doing some general cleaning in my house, whereby I had to lift up a seat and uh, put back my carpet back on the seat. And then I felt a very sharp pain on my back and I just sat down. I wondered what was going on and then I just told myself maybe it's because I have done a lot of cleaning, I have done a lot of washing and I had to put back the carpet and I was alone. So I just decided to lie down for a while and see whether the pain will subside, but it did not subside. So I decided that I'm going to get some painkillers. I went and bought some painkillers. I was on those painkillers for some days, but they did not help me. The pain got worse, the pain got worse. It started spreading to my rib cage, to my chest, to my legs, and also to my neck. So I decided to go to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, I was sent for an MRI, and I went and then brought back the results back to the doctor, and the doctor interpreted there for me that I had some degenerative discs on my back, and two of my discs had bulged. That is L5 and S1. They had a bulge. Now the doctor explained to me that the pain that is coming all the way up to my back and to my chest was because those discs that had bulged out, they had pressed on my nerves. So the nerves now were complaining. So the doctor sent me uh, recommended that I should have some physiotherapy sessions and uh, she sent me home with some pain meds and some other very many medication and also she sent me for 
for the physiotherapist. So I started off immediately with the physios, and I was going for those physiotherapies for three times a week. So I continued with the therapies, I continued with the therapies. The therapies were just giving a little, just a little re release of the pain. But later on, the pain will still come back. I remember I have a young son, around two years and a half. I cannot even lift my own son. When I'm coming from my workplace, he's running, he's running to come and hug me. He's telling me, mom, lift me up, but he's too heavy for me to lift. I feel so much pain on my back. When the pain was still going on, I could not do much. I could not sit for a long time. I could not stand for a long time. I could also not bend at all. That bending, actually, the doctor had told me that if I continue bending, that this, all of them are going to come out, and I'm now going to need a surgery. But I told my God that uh, I knew that one day God is going to come and touch me and heal me. So I continued praying. As I was praying, I remembered that one of my sisters had sent me a clip about a prophet in Uganda, Prophet Samuel Kakande. So I went back to, to that page where she had sent me, and I started watching the videos. I watched the videos, I watched the videos, and then I started talking to another sister of mine who also had a problem that we came with here. After we came here, I was privileged to be put on the prayer line. Then when my time for standing up, man of God to pray for me came. I did not know what happened. I just felt some wind came and overtook me and just blew me. And from there, I did not know what happened. It's like I got unconscious. I just had the man of God saying, wake up, we are free. And when I woke up, I felt so light. I felt so light. <laughs> I remember the first thing I did was bending. I bend like this. I bend like this. Since the day I got sick, I could not bend like this. See, like this. There was something that was piercing my back. Something was sharpened. Something was piercing deep on my skin. I could not do this. I could not bend like this. But now see, I can bend. See me bending like this. See me bending, people of God. I remember I could not even run fast. I could not stand fast. At my workplace, being a hairdresser, I could not stand for long. You know, as, as a hairdresser, you spend hours doing some, some client's hair but I could not do it. I could be tired. So I was limited on the amount of work I was doing. And I could not sit for long. But now you can see I am sitting here. And since I came, I have been sitting down and no pain. I can, I can stand up, see how I'm standing up. See how I'm sitting, I am standing. Yes. I could not stand for long, but now you can see I have been standing here. I've been standing here in front of you for a while. I'm even dancing while, while we, are, we are celebrating. You see, I could not walk fast. See, see me walking. Am I not walking fast? See me walking, see me running. I can run, I can run, I can jog. See me jogging. See me jogging church. I am so happy. I thank Jesus. I thank Jesus for healing me. I thank the man of God for praying for me. And now, I am going to send a message to my fellow Kenyans. And I am a Kikuyu.
So I'm going to tell my fellow Kikuyus in Kenya that Ado Agai Kenya Age Koyo Ode Hado Mure Dere Damoji Gue Woko Wa Prophet Samuel Kakande Kore na Ohonio Kore na Mao Domega Okorowe Muruaru or no Korowe Muruaru Kokanako Gotire Morimo Ore Maga Gai Damuera Deni heti ya moke go kuna ne moku na kia makia nyu ne moku na kia nyakia makia nyu ono koromure na madhe na mage ono kone madhe na mage moshiye kana madhe na mame goda ne dera moria na gete moke go ko there is nothing you are going to pay here Kenyans muniskiye all over you will not be asked for any single shilling since I came here nobody has asked me for a cent nothing. So I am so happy. I am calling all Kenyans to come here for their healing and everybody all over the world who can see me. Please come. Come for your healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. Thank you.